danger. At this hour, we see kids heading to school, parents dropping their kids off. It looks like business as normal, but we do know that that victim is only 16 years old. And at this hour, after this attack, he is now in critical but stable condition. Police tell us that this happened right around the time school was laying out yesterday outside of PS340, right across the street from the school here, near the corner of West 195th Street and Jerome Avenue. They tell us that five men came up to this teenager and attacked. The Department of Education says that schools in the area immediately went into shelter in place and that was later lifted. Two local college students who were walking by the scene of the scene of the crime tell us that they were upset by the news, but not surprised. Stuff like this happens a lot, like around here, like at least in the Bronx. So even though it is upsetting, like, I don't know, like, cause I did hear certain cases of other teenagers, you know, getting killed or getting hurt. Like, it's really bad. And I hope he, well, right now I heard he's in critical condition, but I hope he gets better. It's like everyone does their sense of life too well, and it's pretty sad to think about, honestly. Yeah, really sad. Those young people we spoke to, only a few years older than that victim himself. Again, at 16 years old, that teenage boy. And we do know that he went to Walton High School just a few blocks away from here. But stick with us here on 12 because we'll continue to bring you the latest updates as police search for the five men believed to be responsible. And as we wait to find out the status of that teenager's condition at this hour, he is in stable but critical condition. That's the latest for now outside of PS340. Noelle Lily, News 12. Therapy.